In Creo Parametric, you can create a bundle around one or more wires or cables in order to wrap them together. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in my assembly. Let's go to the sub-assembly that has the cable harness in it. And one thing I want to mention up front, I created these cables initially as cables, but we're only seeing the individual wires. That's because there is an issue, and I'll go into this in more detail in another video. When you use Simple Route, most of the time you don't get the cable jacket around there. So I'm going to create a sheath to do that manually. In other videos, I'll show you how to create networks, and when you use a network, it works properly. You're going to get the cable jacket, and there's even a config.pro option that you can use. I'll go to File Options. And let's go to configuration editor and find they added this a few versions ago it's called cable jacket termination to try to get the behavior to work more like you would want it to but anyhow let's take a look at creating the bundle so let's go to applications and then cabling and inside of here to create the bundle first you're going to make a spool for it so i'm going to go to spools and then create and you're going to choose the type sheath for the bundle now it's going to ask you for the name of it i'm actually going to make three different ones of three different colors just so that you can see them uh, let me call this the correct name call this one a and here you have the parameters for it. Here we have the type is sheath. The sheath type is going to be shrink. From the drop down list over here, you also have the options for tape and tube. Then you have the wall thickness. I'm going to use a thin value. And let's specify a minimum bend radius of four times that. For the units, I'm going to be in inches and pre-shrink inner diameter this is one of the columns that's automatically added in here you don't actually have to fill this out then you have the color and if you type in a color that exists in your appearance.dmt file then it'll actually use this color uh, be aware that if you go to the view drop down menu and columns there are a few other columns that you can add in here like density and mass units if you want to incorporate the weight of that bundle in your mass properties calculations uh, let's cancel out of here I'm not actually going to add any of those optional columns so that's good in here let's click the OK button to create that one now I'm going to create two other ones real quick uh, with the same values but different colors All right, I've got my three spools created. Let me choose the edit button. I can use the shift key to show them to you. So here we have the different values. One's going to be brown, one's going to be violet, and one is going to be gray. But otherwise, the values are the same in here. All right, let's cancel out of here. And now let's start doing some of these. I want to first do the first cable over here. So let me hide the other two in here so I'm only picking stuff that belongs to the first one and now that'll help me select the location points that I actually want to use let's go to the bundle command and so over here be aware that you, there's also the modify bundle command I'll probably have to use that one and I'll show you why but let's create our bundle it asks you for a bundle name for simplicity I'm just gonna call this one B1 and hit the enter key it asks you for the grouping inside of the bundle. It can either be round or flat. And round, it'll figure out the minimum way that you can put them in there. But flat, they'll all be horizontal with respect to one another. It'll still show up as a circle, but it'll be a much bigger diameter. Let's choose round. And now it's asking us which spool that we want to use. First, we'll use A for the first one. Then you have these three different choices. You have unrouted. You can create a 
bundled to begin with without any wires or cables in it and later on add cables to it so it can be sort of a placeholder there's this branch option if you want a new bundle to come in sort of like add a T to an existing bundle but I'm going to use a long path and then it prompts me to select a location at one end of it so let's choose this one over here location at the other end and I'm gonna choose this location over here. Now it's giving me a warning. It's like, okay, I can include these conductors from the other cables, but they could result in inaccurate cable length calculation. Do I want to include those conductors? I'm going to say no. And then it highlights the other ones that can be in here. Let me select these three. And I'll do done select. And it asks you for a file name to read bundle parameters. There's a whole bunch of other additional bundle parameters, like the ones that you saw for the sheath in there. Uh, if you want to choose ones like maximum thickness, you can do things like that. But most of the time, you can just hit the check mark inside of there. And it gives you a preview of it. Let's click the Done button. You're able to flip the bundle if it's not coming in correctly. And I'll show it in here. You'll notice in this particular case, when I create the bundle, it did get put three of the wires in there, those three that I selected, but for some reason it didn't do this one. No problem. Let's go back to a center line display and then let's choose bundle, modify bundle. And then it asks me which bundle do I want to modify. Let's select this one over here. We're going to add a cable. You can also delete a cable from it or extract all the cables. Let's add cable and I'll pick this red one over here. Okay, and then done. And now you just see the single center line over here. And again, when I go to my thick cable display, there you can see it creating this brown bundle over here. All right, that's good. Let's do that two more times. And again, just to make it easier to see what I'm doing, I'm going to hide the bundle. You'll notice that the bundle has an asterisk next to it in its name in both the model tree name and also the designation columns. All right, let's see. I'm going to leave that one hidden. Let's bring this one. You don't have to hide and unhide. I just find this easiest for visualization. And let's hide all of these. All right, so now for the second bundle. Again, we'll click on the bundle command. This one I'll call B2. I'm so good at naming stuff. Let's use the round grouping again. This time I will use the second uh, spool with a different color and again I'll do a long path and then let's find a location point that we want to use here and this one is going to go all the way out to let's say over there by the way I'm picking the same uh, picking location points on the same actual wire you don't actually have to do this okay do you want to include all cables along this path I'm going to say no and you can include these from the other cable, the third one in there, but it might result in an inaccurate cable length calculation. Do you want to include the conductors? No. And this time I only got two of them. Oh well. Uh, so let's select those two and choose done and hit the check mark to ignore which parameters that we're using. Let's hit the done because we're not going to flip it. And here is the bundle. Let's modify it right now. Modify bundle. Pick this bundle over here. Let's add cable. Select one more items. This one and then this one. Okay, done. Thick cable display. Hey, there we go. Looks nice and good in there. Uh, let's now hide this stuff and do our last bundle. Uh, let's see. Here's B2. Hide that one over there. Let's go and find cable three and make these visible. All right, go to my center line display. Let's go back to the start over here. And by the way, I could have started the bundles over here, but I just wanted you to be able to see the individual fibers going along a little bit of a longer length. But let's create our bundle. Enter the bundle name. I'll call this one B3. Round grouping. We'll use the third spool along the path. And let's go from here and then all the way to the end over here. 
do I want to include? I always say no, just so I can manually pick what's going in there. Let's say, here got all four of them, yay. I don't have to modify the bundle. I'm not gonna use any different parameters. Everything looks good, so let's do done out of there and make that one visible. Let's bring back the other bundles and bring back the other cables. And now you can see that we have our different bundles in here with the wires going into them, running along together. Here we have the individual wires coming out of there. Let's close out of cabling mode and close this cable subassembly. And there we can see our nice bundles in the top level assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.